no matter who you are, where you live, you have been told a story. Whether it be a fairy tale of shining knights that saved the fair princess, or a folk tale told to teach a lesson. But everything is not how they seem. These are stories, but all stories have some truth. Look at me, I'm getting ahead of myself. For our tale, in fact, starts in all places, a town called Story. The room was darkly lit, and only the moon was its source of light. Fucking Christ! Where is it? Ha! Gotcha, you, you son of a bitch! Gabby, you better not be using that language in my house! Sorry! How the hell did she hear me from two hallways down? I guess her mother's senses were tingling again. Ugh. Gabby, after several attempts, finally gets the energy to get out of bed and do her everyday routine before heading out the door for work. God, shit! Who left the fridge open? It's cold out here! Where the hell is my- Oh, here it is. Right where I left it. After putting on her wool coat and scarf, she heads out into the very small town of Story. Only about 200 or more people live there. Just behind the mountains is where you can find it. Gabby has been living here for about 20 years ever since her father passed away from a car accident. And yes, this is like every Disney movie ever, so comment. Back off. Where was I? I asked. She was fairly short, her eyes were dull brown, and she had short black hair that was curled in several places. I hate this cold weather so fucking much that I- What the hell?! In the distance was a marketplace that was lined with grocery stores and other things people need or want. But the lights were all off. Except one. Oh god, this has never happened before. No one has ever tried to steal from us. But well, why would they go for a bookstore? After all, even then the cash register's always empty before closing. Who the fuck's in the shop? Gabby walked slowly to the edge of the shop, back pressed against the cement brick wall, as though she were in an action movie about to reveal who's inside. Okay, Gabby, you can do this. All you have to do is look, then go to Sheriff Dan and crawl under bed sheets and never come out again. <sighs> Here I go. With every ounce of courage she could muster, she peeked through the window of the little shop to find... No one? She entered the shop cautiously. <coughs> oh, I forgot that we had that too. <laughs> uh, I guess whoever was here isn't anymore. She looked after the familiar shop she had looked after for so long that she forgot when she first looked after it, seeing as her mother owns the shop. She saw that the red door that led to the basement was open. Of course I'm wrong. Again! The basement is the hub for all the fresh new books that are delivered. It wasn't very often, though. Most of their shipments were requests that their customers make, and if they get over 30, then they place the order. The room itself was poorly lit, and the wallpaper was peeling in several places. But because of the poor lighting, the books held their vibrant purple color. Oh, fuck me. Why the basement? Out of all places to go, why the fucking basement? <sighs> Fine, but I need backup. In the shop, there was a metal bat that was meant for things of this sort. But living in a small town, many people were more a gossip threat than an actual threat. Welp, now or never. She descended down the wooden floor staircase as she carefully placed each foot so she would not make a sound and catch the burglar off guard. The room was fairly small, maybe smaller than a small bedroom. Three tall shelves lined the room that leave the right side of the room open so that people can get in and out. 
Gabby swung the bat over her shoulder, prepared for the worst, as she walked to the first shelf and did the same with the window. Nothing. Next shelf. Nothing. Last shelf, she looked cautiously over to find... What? Alice! A short, brown-haired girl swiped around, startled. Uh, Gabby! Ugh, don't do that! You gave me a heart attack! I gave you a heart attack? What about the fact that you're here at, like, five in the fucking morning and broke into the shop? What am I supposed to think? Oh, look! The lights are all on! Nothing out of the ordinary here! Da 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 da! <laughs> no, I didn't break in. I have a key after all. When did you get a key? Your mom, she, uh, told me about the key in the third flower pot to the right, Gab. <sighs> you know, she worries about you. She always calls the barber shop and asks if you're okay. Great. I have my own personal secret service now. A month ago, it was daily visits. And my own friend betrays me? Gabby, you know your mom is no position to leave the house. Yeah, I know. Thank cancer for the loss of legs. You know she worries about you, Gabby. Just drop it already, will ya? God, you giving me this speech so much, I'm surprised you're not a pastor right now. The Lord will be your savior. Let him into your life, Gabby. He knows what to do to help you. Amen and praise him. <laughs> the day rolled by as the two friends shelved books and organized a new shipment of books. At the moment, Gabby was sitting at the checkout counter. Four. Oh, man. I've been open for seven hours now, and not a single customer has come in yet. Yeah, sure, we have slow days, but we got at least one. Huh? She looked up to see a man. He was very tall and thin. He wore a light blue long sleeve dress shirt that had a dark green tie that was loosely tied that was tucked into a violet purple vest. His brown hair looked hand-combed and spiked up in various places. Um, can I help you? What? Oh, um, yes, actually. What book are you looking for? Book? Yeah, book. Why would I need a book? Because you're in a bookstore. I am? Blimey, I am! Well... Would you look at that? Are you high? What? No! I mean, if I was, I wouldn't be able to have a normal conversation with you now, would I? Okay, enough games. Who are you? Why are you here and how in the world did you miss the fact that you walked into a bookshop? I mean, the shop's called Molly's Little Shop of Imagination Bookshop. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Molly's Little Shop of Imagination. Don't make fun of the name. I was fine. Oh, you named it. Shit. Oi, language. You're avoiding the questions. I would tell you, but A, I don't know where I am. B, I don't know why I'm here. And more importantly, C, you won't believe me. Oh yeah? Try me. Well... Ah! Alice! Well now, that's more like it. <laughs>